In November 2013, when in Atlanta with the Police Accountability Tour, we coordinated with Marlon, Earthworm, and Caroline of the East Atlanta Cop Watch, who held a Know Your Rights training that went over really well. The next video is essentially a distillation of that presentation. Special thanks to Mike Burns of Cop Block Central Florida and to Garrett Ian of Freeman TV Raw, who both recorded the training. And thank you for taking the time to educate yourself. That's the first step necessary before we each choose to stand up and shake off the would-be tyrants to free ourselves from this institutionalized double standards inherent in the police apparatus today. For this training, we're just going to go over your basic constitutional rights in dealing with the cops. This is rights that apply to everybody in the country. Doesn't matter if you were born here, if you're an immigrant, if you have papers, if you're old, you're young. If you are on U.S. soil, these constitutional rights apply to you. Um, so we're not lawyers, right? We don't give legal advice. None of this training is legal advice. It's just we did our research, um, and you know anybody can be self educated, you can be too, and I hope that the info that we have in this training will uh, help you on your way to that. We believe that the information in this training, knowing and asserting your rights, is your best bet to protect yourself. Whether the cops are going to violate the law or not, it's your best bet to stay out of jail, or if you do get arrested, it's your best bet to protect yourself in court later on, and your best bet to hold crooked cops accountable later down the line. There's three key phrases that we're going to be using a lot during this training. The first one is, am I being detained or am I free to go? Can I get everybody to say that with me? Am I being, am I being detained, detained or, or am I free to go? go? Second is, I do not consent to a search. I do not, I do not consent, consent to a search. search. And the third is, I am going to remain silent, I want to see a lawyer. I am going, going to remain silent, silent. I, want I want to see a lawyer. lawyer. Now we're going to be getting into the specifics of when and why you use these phrases, but this is basically the complete manual of things that you need to say to the police. Uh, for now, let's start with our first skit, in which I am walking through the park, minding my own business, when I encounter a stranger. Let's see what happens. Hey, hey you. Yeah? Yeah, do you want to buy some weed? Um. Well, I mean, I don't know you. You could be a cop or something. No, look at me. I'm not a cop. Here, I'll prove it to you. Here, you want to try some? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You smell it? Yeah, totally. Uh, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, 20 bucks. <coughs> um, 20 bucks? Okay. Here you go. Thanks. All right. You're under arrest for buying narcotics from an undercover agent. And you're going downtown. <sighs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> cops can and do lie. Um, cops can commit crimes and they can participate in planning crimes. Do you think um, I, that Marlon could probably use an entrapment defense for that? Yes. No, at, no actually not. Um, what you just saw was not entrapment. Entrapment is a really difficult defense to use. You'd have to um, prove that the cop coerced you into committing a crime. You also just don't have to worry about cops. There's also like informants and undercover. So if you are going to do like do risky behavior or talk about risky things, you should do it with somebody that you know and trust. Cool. So we're not going to repeat that skit. We're just going to go right into the next one in which Earthworm here is walking home from the mall late at night. Hey, you, come here. What, me? Yeah. But I didn't do anything? No, no, you're not in any trouble. I just want to ask you a few questions. Okay. So, uh, there's a lot of graffiti around this area, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. You don't know anything about that, though, right? Yeah. Oh, you do? No, I mean, yeah, I don't know anything about it. Put your hands up on the wall. But I didn't do anything. Put your hands on the wall. <laughs> Alright, open your bag for me. I mean, I don't have anything on me. Open the bag. Do I have to? Just open the backpack. Let's see what you got in here. Aha! You want to tell me what this is? Hmm. Um, <laughs> look, 
<laughs> my friend brought in my backpack. I guess it's theirs. I didn't. I didn't even know that was in there. All right. You seem like a good kid, right? You're not in any trouble. You you don't even smoke marijuana, right? Right. You're just carrying this for a friend. You got caught in the wrong place in the wrong time. Right. Okay. Exactly. All right. Well, you're under arrest for possession of drug paraphernalia. You're going down, child. So what did I do wrong in that situation? I stopped and talked. I stopped and talked to him. Good. What else? Consent. I consented to a search. Good. What else? Right. I, I incriminated myself. Right. Good. There's three types of interactions that you can be in with police. Um, they're voluntary conversation, detention, and arrest. Um, and there are different levels of interaction. So for voluntary conversation, that's just a simple conversation between you and a cop. Any cop can approach you and just say, you know, it's a nice day out, isn't it? Or, where were you on the night of the third? They don't need to have any reason to be able to justify doing that. However, you're allowed to leave anytime you want. And that's what we recommend doing. Now, detention, that's when you're not free to go. Now, a cop is allowed to detain you if they have what's called a reasonable suspicion that you've committed some crime or that you're about to commit some crime. It's just a legal term, meaning that they have something that they suspect you of that they can say they thought you were up to no good. Now, it can be very vague, but they do have to have something specific. It can't just be like, oh, well, I thought he looked sketchy or I, I had a hunch about this guy. It has to be something specific that they can say they thought you were doing. When you're being detained, you're not free to go. However, they can't detain you forever. They can only detain you for a set period of time, long enough to investigate that suspicion that they have. After that, they have to let you go or else arrest you. Now, the point of detaining you is to figure out enough evidence to make that arrest, right? They're not detaining you just because they want to spend time with you. Um, so the best way for them to get that evidence is something that you tell them that you inadvertently say that you didn't realize was going to give them that evidence that they needed to arrest you. Now when you're being arrested, everybody knows what that means. You're going downtown, you're getting your fingerprints taken, you're getting booked, that whole bit. Now in order to arrest you, they need a higher bar of suspicion than that reasonable suspicion that they needed to um, detain you. In order to arrest you, they need some solid evidence, um, and the legal wording is called probable cause. How do you know in any given situation with the cop whether you're being in a voluntary conversation, detained, or arrested? How do you figure that out? Ask. Ask. Good. And what do you ask? Am I being detained? Perfect. All right. And you may need to ask this multiple times, right? Because the cop may be cagey about it, may not just bust out with like, well, you're actually not being detained, but I'd really rather you stay and talk to me as long as I want you to. So you, and they may pretend not to hear, or they may pretend to get angry, or so on and so forth. So you do need to be kind of assertive with this and just keep asking if you're being detained until you actually are free to go, at which point you what? Legally go. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you are being detained, remember, they eventually have to let you go, right? They can detain you for a set period of time, and that period varies from place to place, but it's never going to be days. It's going to be like an hour or two hours. So if you do get detained, keep asking, am I free to go now? Am I free to go now? You know, every little while, because they're, they may hit a limit that, you know, they have to let you go by. And they may not just tell you that. So, uh, so keep asking. Now, like I said, the reason that they're trying to detain you or they're trying to talk to you is in order to gather evidence against you, in order to bring it up to the next level, to, to make that arrest. So, and the best way for them to get that is something that you tell them. So what we say in the training is the best thing to say to cops is nothing at all. And that's probably the most important lesson. If you take nothing else away from this training, at least remember, don't talk to the cops. Don't talk to the cops. Don't talk to the cops. You don't have to talk to the cops, and you shouldn't talk to the cops. Now, there's one exception to this rule. If you are being detained, and how do you know if you're being detained? Yes. <laughs> if you're being detained, you have to identify yourself to the police. Uh, this means that if you're carrying a government ID card, you got to turn it over to the police. Um, if you're not carrying an ID card, that's okay. You're not legally required to carry ID in the state of Georgia yet. Um, <laughs> but you do have to provide enough information to identify yourself. Um, and that generally means you have to give your name, 
your address. Uh, if you're homeless, you can say you're homeless. Um, and maybe your date of birth, but nothing more than that. Now, the police may tell you that you have to give them more information, but they're lying. And as we learned in the first skit, cops are allowed to lie to you. Uh, you do not have to give any other information. And if the police ask you to answer more questions, uh, the best thing that you can say is, I'm going to remain silent. Um, and if they continue to badger you, just say it again. Say it as many times as it takes for them to get the message. Now, the second thing that went wrong in that scenario with, with Earthworm is um, she ended up letting the cops search her. Now, with a pat-down, the police do not need um, very much justification at all. Uh, the law says if a cop has detained you and they believe that you could be armed and dangerous, they're allowed to conduct a pat-down without your permission or any further uh, you know, suspicion or anything. So they're touching the outside of your clothes to feel for like objects that could feel like weapons. If they feel anything that either could be a weapon or arouses their suspicion for some reason, they're allowed to go into your pocket or into your whatever and take that thing out. For anything beyond a pat-down, um, they generally need either probable cause, some kind of evidence that, you know, like some kind of justification to arrest you or search you further, or they need your consent. And consent is usually what the cops are looking for. They're not going to come to you and, and ask you, like, excuse me, ma'am, I would like to conduct a search. Will you grant me consent to do so? Nah. They're going to come and they're going to say something like, you don't mind if I take a look in that bag, right? Now, how do you answer that question? I do not consent to a search. Exactly. Whenever the question of a search comes up, say this. Sounds kind of goofy. Sounds kind of lawyerese. But I do not consent to a search makes it very clear that you're not agreeing to be searched. Um, and again, even with a pat-down, even if you think that they may have a justification or you're not sure if they're allowed to be searching you or not, still say it, because it can never hurt you to, to vocally refuse a search. Another thing to keep in mind is that you may accidentally agree to a search without even saying anything. So for example, Earthworm never told me that I could search her bag, but when I asked her to open the bag, she opened it. Even if they're just asking, like, what do you have on you there? What's in your bag? Anything like that. Break this phrase out as soon as possible. And when you say it, say it loudly and clearly so that anybody around you can hear that you didn't consent to a search, because that could be important later. If you're detained, the police do have the right to um, sort of control where your body is and how it's positioned, right? So if a cop tells you stop while you're being detained, you have to stop. If a cop tells you, put your hands up, put your hands on against the wall, things like this, you do have to comply with that. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're allowed to force you to allow a search. We're going to repeat this skit um, with a volunteer from the audience taking the place of Earthworm as the, as the victim here. Um, what should that person do differently this time around to assert their rights and not get busted? Ask if they're being detained? Yeah, right up front, ask if you're being detained. Um, what, what if you are being detained and the cop wants to try to like look through your stuff? So I'm like sitting to search. Yeah. And what if they're like badgering you, asking you questions? Yeah. And then what if they're like holding you for a long time trying to waste your time? Keep asking if you're free to go. Exactly. Uh, cool. So who wants to give it a try? Alright, action. Hey you, come here. There's a, there's a lot of graffiti around this area, huh? Am I being detained, or am I free to go? Yeah, you are being detained. I'm uh, suspicious of you walking around this time of night. Now you want to tell me what you know about the graffiti on that corner? Do you want to tell me what you know about the graffiti on that corner? I have nothing to say to you, officer. Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Put your hands up against the wall. Now, why aren't you answering my questions? Is it a problem for you to, to explain to yourself? Am I free to go? Open your backpack for me. I do not consent to a search. Look, I don't need to conduct a search. I just need to look inside your backpack. <laughs> 